How you doing, everybody? This is Yaakov here with a beautiful idea. And rather this beautiful idea, may everybody draw yet closer to a, closer to God in obvious ways. And may you feel sweetness. And here you go. Here, enjoy. I'm going give to you, give you an intro into this. Uh, again, we're, we're talking about part three here of uh, the, the, the book, Restore My Soul, um, Shivat Nafesh. And we uh, we wrote that we read the intro um, a long time ago. We did two intros, part one, part two, and I want on part three of the book, right here. So, um, in the last sentences of the last uh, of the second uh, part we just finished, we were speaking about um, going uh, traveling up and traversing up and down um, through the ups and downs in lives in our lives, um, and. To be able to find God in, that, in those situations. What does it mean to find God and to see that God is there? It means that you have hope. It means that it's not over. It means that this isn't it. I mean, this, sorry, this is, uh, this is just the beginning, I would say. Um, it means that, it means that there's no, you don't have to worry. I mean, but these are feelings. These are things that means when you find God, you feel, you feel, I don't have to worry. Everything is great. You feel like everything is wonderful. You feel like now you know what to do. You feel like now you know what to believe in. Now you know where to go for advice. Now you know what to think. Now you know what to say. Now you know what not to say or to think or to do. So there's a lot of, a lot of things what it means and we need to go further. And he says last year, last sentence, and it is through the righteous people of the age that those who are farthest from God can go to God. Wow, that's a that's a big one. So we have to understand a, a lot of people's misconception they feel about religious people or a person very religious is that oh he's so fanatical oh he's so whatever it is. I mean I could testify the people that I've met that are really religious. I could tell you um, they know so they know so much. They give you to to help you find where you fit into the Torah. Where you fit in, where you start, where you start your process, not not reject you, tell you this is what I've been going through, this is what I've been doing, this is it, nah, nah. they can guide you through that down. They can show you, oh, you, it looks like a down. I'm gonna throw you, show you how to find a shem from that place, and they show you, oh, you're excelling now. You have so much pa passion for God, and you want to learn A B C D E F G H I J, whatever the situation is. They'll guide you on your ups and when you're on the ups that you're you're feeling wonderful. Okay, because the righteous people, they went through all the ups and downs already. We're going to learn later on in the book about who the righteous people are. I call them the light bulbs in exile because because sometimes it's so difficult in exile, dark exile, um, where to see exactly where God is. So God gives a present, a matana, a present. It, it, these righteous people in every generation, that they're light bulbs of the generation, the light bulbs, the the... the the lighthouse of 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 righteousness and and godliness and how we know how to serve God, how we know how to behave in our life, and how do we know how to how to live the best sweetest life in that generation, and that's what really what a righteous person is. And from our from the Jewish people, you learn about really also what any human being can do because we said before, it doesn't matter how far you are away from God, you're the furthest person is giving the greatest pleasure to Hashem when they are drawn close to God. Okay, so. So we find that the the person in the Talmud who teaches everybody on Cheshuva Me'ava, which is repentance, which is the highest level of repentance, which takes all of a person's sins and all of the things that a person did wrong against themselves, against their family members, God, and every, whatever the whole the whole world, whatever the situation is, okay, and takes it and flips it to merit, flips it to now it becomes something good. Because it was through the distance, through that distance that they were so far from God, okay, that that shaped their situation so that they can do, they can want to yearn for God and want to repent back to Him out of love, out of such a out of such a place of passion. Like, how could I ever go against you? No, no, no. And they were able, to, and that Reish Lakish, this beautiful Rabbi in the Gemara, who was the biggest thief in the world, one of the biggest thieves in the world, he did. There we go. He did repentance. This beautiful guy did repent. This beautiful.
Beishlakish did repentance, and he did repentance out of love. So all of his all of his things that he did wrong turned into turn to good deeds. And this shows exactly what a person can do. People don't understand. Where is Mashiach coming from? Mashiach is coming from the nations of the world. He's coming from the nations that are not Jewish, from root, coming from uh, coming from outside of Am Yisrael. Where is where did Avram Avinu come from? From from his father. Okay. He was an idol worshipper. Okay, who did not serve God. So people need to understand, clarify, what is this? Is it an exclusive group? No. Don't let your eyes fool you of nothing. Nothing's the only thing exclusive about the Jewish people is that we have the truth that Hashem gave us. That Hashem that Hashem gave to Moshe, brought down for all of all of Am Yisrael. We were witnesses that we saw with, with the truth of life and how to live and how to serve Hashem and how to, what's the purpose of this world? What's the purpose of what? What are we doing here? What are we supposed to do with our hands? What are we supposed to do with our head? Head? How are we supposed to utilize? To be able to make things better and also to what end, to what purpose, for what reason, Where's it, who's it going to serve? And to do things with joy, to be able to do things with respect and joy. And, uh, and so the righteous people take this information that's been passed, this information has been secured and passed down, passed down to generation, generation. And these people can draw the people who are furthest away closer to God. The biggest people of the generation can do that. Now, not everybody can do that. So people sometimes look to the wrong people. Sometimes, sometimes people, um, you know, you come into this world and, you know, somebody says, don't get angry, right? Because you feel angry. Anger is, is painful and it, people and it can make relationships hard, okay? And when you try to work on your anger, so like you're doing the right thing, right? You're doing awesome thing. Because you're helping yourself deal with situations. That, does, that doesn't mean that you're trying to put yourself in situations where other people are being angry, right? You're not trying to get burnt, right? Sometimes a person becomes, he, he is so much, so much a fear of anger, he stays away from all the angry people, okay? And he doesn't, rem he doesn't remember that he was also once angry, okay? Ha meaning that everybody, everybody has the potential, whether they're angry or not, to be angry, doesn't matter. It's a free choice, right? And it's how you look at people. It's how you look at the world. So, so if you see somebody who wants to stay away from a lot of people, don't, 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 don't be upset. Just understand. You know, some people are very, very sensitive. They can't deal. With, they can't deal with everybody in the whole world. Okay, they can't deal with uh, pain and anguish that people are giving. So they need the advice of the Torah. The Torah gives them that advice. They don't want to stay. They don't want to be near everybody because they're they're afraid of getting hurt of the pain that they felt in their youth or their or in their situations. But there are people who are stronger, who know the truth, the highest level righteous people. They can. They know. I'm working on myself. Like the Torah says, and I'm willing to deal with those people, who who have this anger, who have, who have exactly what the Torah says, don't do, I can deal with those people. I can help them, right? This is the biggest righteous people. The person who's furthest from God, the regular people are like, the person's furthest from God, they're, they're stealing, they're killing, they're murdering, whatever they're doing, right? And the regular guy says, I'm working on myself, I can't deal with these people, I'm too afraid, it's something I cannot deal with. But the person who's the biggest righteous person can go deal with these people, he can go deal with anybody because he has the highest level truth. And the highest level truth can shine in the lowest places. That's the whole, the whole reason. The higher the light, the lower the dark into darkness that light can shine. That's why really the highest. The, that's why Rabbi Nachman says when the person is the sickest person, they need the best doctor. When a person is the most spiritual, emotional, sick person, they need the highest level spiritual. You need you need a doctor like Rabbi Nachman. Rabbi Nachman is called the doctor of the soul. You need a doctor like that, that tzaddikim, the righteous, true righteous, the righteous people of the generations. Okay. Now these people, okay, and the people connected to them, okay, who strive to go on their ways, the righteous people, they are in every single generation. The Talmud explains they're in every generation. Mo a, a, a righteous person who is like Moshe, leader of every generation, is in every single generation. There's somebody like Moshe, like not Moshe, like Moshe, okay. I mean, there's a leader of every generation. Okay, and also depending upon what we do, we merit to, 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 to take advice from him. Because sometimes we distance ourselves because of the differences that we have. person says, I don't want to... Um, I don't want to go. I don't want to go to so and so place. They're not going to go. Sometimes they're going to forfeit 
seeing the righteous person that they're supposed to see or hearing the vice they're supposed to hear. Sometimes you have to go again. A lot of times, a lot of times, especially at the beginning, a person has to go himself going having to go against themselves a lot uh and not listening to everything that your feelings say, tell you because you start to you learn about hey my emotions are lying to me you need the righteous people you need these righteous people righteous people they know how to go through the ups and downs in life they know how to review themselves in a positive way not to put themselves down and they've really accomplished tremendous amount and they are so humble that they can bring you exactly to those places that's what a true tzaddik is like moshe rabbeinu like moshe rabbeinu like Rabbi Nachman Abesov, Abal Shem Tov, Rav Shneir Zalman Abayadi. There's so many beautiful, righteous people. Arizal Hakadosh, Rav Shem Bar Yochai. Okay, let's let's start. So we're going to speak about these people and the power that they have. Okay, and also the people who have drawn close to them. So let's let's go in. Friends who have drawn close to truth, Sadikim. These righteous people we're talking about. They can see the spark, the good, the god, the good, the godliness within every human being. Okay should try to, the friends who have drawn close to these righteous people should try to strengthen one another and give each other encouragement, right? Because you, sh you, shouldn't take, you shouldn't take the advice and just keep it to yourself. If something's so good, so sweet, you should share it with your friend. You show God, that's Hashem said, I created these worlds to give. I created these worlds to give, right? So that you, that you should, right? And not just that I should give, so that you should give. So that when I and you give, we're giving, okay, then we're taking on, so to speak, that attribute of God, and then we receive in, in essence, because we become a conduit to which God gives into the world. We become a messenger through which God gives into the world. So when you do that, because it's God's will, so when you do fulfill God's will, you're taking part, you're, it's like you're hooking up to the pipe. It's like now you, you're hooked up to the pipe, of a uh, godly pipe of kindness, and now God's kindness is to the world, and you're trying to do the right thing. Friends who have drawn close to these true tzaddikim should try to strengthen one another and give each other encouragement. The strongest support they can give each other is to bear in mind and to remind one another of the tremendous spiritual power of the true righteous person. A person who's really righteous, a person whose advice stands till to the day, who's really encouraged, who can go through the ups and downs, okay, in, in life. And to really, and to, to really be able to battle, to be able to really follow God's laws, to be able to really understand what's happening in the world, to be able to, 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 to give advice for thousands, hundred thousand people of what, what we're supposed to do here and now, okay? Righteous person. So we have to understand that we're standing on the shoulders of giants. All the righteous people we're reading about. So in, in Judaism, we learn that the, right, the real true righteous people, they're not dead really. Meaning, physically, the, their body might be in the ground, but the soul has more power. Now, the soul cannot, is not held back by the body, okay? And the idea of a righteous person, can, right, a truly righteous person connects heaven and earth. What, when they're in the world, they have to eat, they have to sleep, they have to do all these physical things. And they're elevating these things through their intentions and what, how, they're using, how, they're, how they're utilizing those physical things, Okay, in the world, so we need. They're a perfect example for us, and they show us how to utilize the physical world in a spiritual way to get to get the true, the best, truest, everlasting benefit. We have to remind ourselves the power of these righteous people and how they're helping Am Israel and the people in the world today. The power, this power, that it can bring elevation even to the most blemished soul, one that has yet not has not yet emerged from. The chol into kadosh from from mundane into the holy, what's sacred, even by hair's breadth. The righteous person has the power to drop the soul and restore it to good. That's the power of what a person a righteous person is. It's not to um, it's not to cast people off and and you're going to fire and brimstone whatever that craziness craziness. That's not. Righteous people's goal in life is not to do that. Don't even, if a person doesn't understand the righteous person or a truly righteous person's goal to draw everybody back to God. What does that mean? That they should find a real happiness within themselves and the world around them. Should be able to take ple a pleasure in their choices and 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 ha and be be happy about it and to be connected to God and to realize everything coming from God and that God wants to give everybody good, only good. For even the worst person, regardless of who that person might be, and into whatever circumstances that person might have sunk in at present, 
so long as the person grasps, grasps hold of the advice of the true righteous person, the truly righteous people, there is hope for them person to achieve a unique good that will endure forever. Friends should support one another with this knowledge and give each other encouragement. They should strengthen one another in the service of God. Each one should make it his duty to remind their friend of all the teachings they have learned, each one to the full extent of their own understanding. Right? So we find that if you if you've achieved a if you person said oh they read a book um they read a certain book and that book you 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 got practical advice on how to think that helped you in your life right you should go share with someone else if it's it's a good kosher advice you're not hurting anybody you're not gonna go do something crazy right if it's good holy advice check it over with a competent authority okay if it can be given out you know if you if you feel like feel like you have questions on it but if you feel like it's so obvious it's so good you got to share it okay i understand you know i understand why you might share it because this is what we're talking about here if you got so encouraged by any good advice share it the highest advice in this world is by the truly righteous people they have the advice because they see the spiritual reality of this world so if a person is just looking at that from the physical realm and all they see and think and believe in is in the physical realm you can only affect a physical um you can only have a physical effect according to your intentions what's here is the effect that you really that you truly have so the higher degree of the the, the intentions that you have is the effect that you'll have on all creation as well including yourself and your family and everybody so may everybody connect themselves to the truly righteous people. We have people that are talking constantly. Rav Jor uh, there is con con talking constantly about Sadiqim, Rabbi Nachman of Breslov, and further, and, 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 and many, many other people that are speaking about it. We have to be able to, to latch on to these people's advices, to be able to see who's truly fulfilling their advice, and also to, to try to fulfill the advice ourselves, whatever is applicable. The Ramban uh, has brought down in his Egeret Haram on his letter, um, famous letter, people that people read it sometimes weekly, that uh, after a person learns something, they should get up, they should ponder, what can I put into practice from what I have just learned right now? Right? You, can, you may not understand everything that, 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 you're, uh, that you're learning everything right now, or not everything may be applicable. Don't be frustrated. Apply what you can apply. Later on, everything will click. Okay, so you see something that you can apply it to, you hear advice of truly righteous people, run after more advice. Run after fulfilling that advice. Ask questions, try to ask questions to the right people. Continue to grow, continue to latch yourself on to the right people's advice. Right people's advice. So, so that you can be that uh, is able to help to help all the people from coming uh, from the same place that you're coming from that you came from you 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 work on yourself god helped you believe in other people that other people can also can be helped just like you did and they can come just as close as you can if not closer have a great day and enjoy part four is next time